Hello, beautiful people of the internet. My name is Ryan. Welcome back to The Witcher 3, the Blood and Wine DLC. Uh, hey, it's episode 46, 7? 47, I think. 47. And we're here in the land of a thousand fables. The land of a thousand fables. Um, yeah, we've been running around with Sienna and encountering fairy tale after fairy tale. And uh, I imagine we'll get up to more of the same today. So that's the plan. Uh, in the last episode, that included the big bad wolf, uh, a horse that had a dog riding it, that had a cat riding it, that had a chicken riding it, uh, and etc. And so, the boy who cried wolf, you know. Let's see. Uh, let's see what we get up to today. There's a house here, and there's people over on this bridge, or at least I saw a person earlier. Yeah, right over there in the distance. I also don't have any health, but I think I can meditate. Nope, I can't meditate here. But if I hit the button, I do get my... Wait, hold up. Wait. I gotta figure this shit out. I can't meditate, but I do get my potions back. Then I'm fine. I don't gotta worry about my potions. What the heck? My health is gonna be just fine. Alright, we're following the... Uh, this path here. Which is not the yellow brick road we were following earlier, but... What is that? Is that a... The ADHD is kicking in. What is this right here on the... Is that a dragon? That's a dragon. Okay. This seems a lot like a... Uh, a uh, a and d location. That we're... Uh, Just one thing and it's good. A half-digested sheep. Stuffed with tar and sulfur. Exploring. Of course. But no bean. Does that not disgust you, poking about in a rotting corpse? I'm Compared used to, to it. to the time I fought a Zugal in Vizima's sewers, this... <laughs> never mind. Don't feel like telling that story again. Okay. So what's going on with the... What's going on with the dragon? A... a sheep that is tar and sulfur. Half tar and sulfur. But who put it there? Oh, hello. All right. Light your ass is on fire. Do a quick little, quick little whirly McGig. There it is. All right, don't gotta worry about the heals anymore. We'll just go to town on these pixies who are unhappy that I am inside of uh, the dream or illusion place made for Anna Henrietta and Tiana. All right, all right, easy, easy. It's a little bit of a bummer knowing. We'll see. I can't wait to figure. It's it's such a minor thing. It's a little bit of a bummer knowing that uh, we're thinking that we might not get to use these this experience and these points that we're these action points we're getting from uh all this combat that we're doing. If we have to reset to prior quests. We'll see. I don't know how it's going to work. I don't know how the... Uh, and I haven't really had a chance to catch up with comments recently uh, since I've recorded the last couple episodes. So, uh, on how the final... Oh, the three little pigs homes. Mm. You know the story, don't you? Who's afraid of the big bad wolf? Looks like big bad's already blown down the houses of straw and sticks. Brick's the only one left. We should look inside. Remember Joss's words? Mm -hmm. There's one Brick. Bean lies I see out it. in the open, guarded by three nobodies. Yeah, could be it. Ah, out in the open, guarded by three nobodies. Okay. This little piggy went to market. Okay. Um. <laughs> Anyways, we'll have to see what the world is like after we finish quest. The the ending. Uh. Okay. There's a bunny over there. There's the. The brick place right here. I'm gonna blow it down. That seems like a oh, there it is. All right, that's hilarious. Harlot bread vandal. These pigs are are so stylish with these hats. Get over here. Get over here. Oh yeah, blow him down, stab him. Oh, he charged me. That's fair. I mean, I blew your house down. 
All right, we got it. We got it. Come here. Come here. You, they, they're running around like crazy. Come here. Oh, they kick. They have a kicking attack. Fire. I mean, I should probably apply an oil for these guys too, but I don't know what the oil would be. Hmm. The big bad wolf was just a beast. So it's not like anything in the dream has a uh, a specific thing. Let's read this big bad wolf thing. Uh, I'm definitely going to. Uh, for this character, I've got to. Uh, it wasn't even a werewolf character. You ask why I have these big hands, my friend. Well, I'll tell you. I'll tell you my secret. Exercise. The big bad wolf who lived in the tale of a thousand in the land of a thousand fables was like the other denizens of that strange sphere, created by or Artorius Vigo, based on a figure from folk tales. Once he served as a playmate to the duke's daughters, uh, acting out scenes with a certain red hooded girl and her grandmother. But as the fable land slowly degenerated, so did he. Geralt and Sienna met the big bad wolf while he was nursing a nasty hangover and was not eager to cooperate. Yet since our heroes needed a bean which the wolf had, they forced him to act out his tale. Tale ended as it always had. Big bad wolf attacked the hunter, played by Geralt, biting and clawing him fiercely while his own wounds healed almost instantaneously. Inevitably, however, the big bad wolf was killed and his stomach cut open. This time out came not a grandma and her granddaughter, but a magic bean. All right, got anything for pigs? I feel like I'm kind of guessing here. I don't know, we should probably apply some oil on the off chance that we're right. What's this guy doing? Just playing some music? Okay, their stunning attack is not good. Let's try Axie, that could be fun. I have no idea what that'll do. I, I sort of slowed it down for a second, I guess. I don't know. All right, Art. Art knocked one over, so I could do that to get a killing blow, maybe. This guy's stuck. Oh, I missed the whirl attack. Ah! He hit me hard. There we go, there we go. Hit him. He's not knocked down. All right. This is, uh, this is a, a real pain in my ass. This is not a fun, uh, fun fight for me. <laughs> All right, there's one. Bestiary, okay, it should get easier after one. Incredible. They are also a beast. Beast oil, Igni, and Yurden. That makes sense. Slow them down. They're too fast. All right, now we learn. It'll only get easier from here. Ouch. All right, back here. Oh, I used the wrong, there, there it is. You're in? Come to me, come to me. Come to me, come to me. Yep, yep, ouch, fuck, ouch, fuck. Okay, I'm making better progress here. Just whiffed that guy a million times. It also said Igni, let's just try Igni. I feel like Yurden is not, maybe it stops them from doing their crazy attacks, but. I did Quinn on accident. Fuck. Oh lord. Ouch. Ouch. No special attacks. No special attacks. I feel like Sianna could really be a better help. I felt that way this whole time. Though. All right, there's two. One left. Nearly there. Ouch. And then we are going to need to meditate. One more. One more. One more. Kill him. He's dead. Okay. 
Woo. Meditate twice just to make sure all of our potions are back after I used one. That's one bean down. Good work. That's one bean down. Is it? We got we got the pig or magic dust. We got our we got our one bean forever ago. Side of the wreckage here? Oh, it's in the it's in the basement? No? Oh, it's just sitting over here on the plate. Oops. The big bad witcher huffed and puffed, and look, got a <laughs> bean. It cannot be. What cannot be? You actually have a sense of humor. It's stunted, but it's there. Oh, Geralt. But yeah, it's there. Well, well, Aww. aren't you full of surprises? What else are you hiding behind that gruff exterior? Not Fucking a bad singer. Rockin' bod. edition of the Maids of Vicovaro, for <laughs> instance. But some other time, maybe. But here we are chatting away when there's work to do. We must keep looking. What's Geralt's go-to karaoke song? Other than la 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 la. Uh, so, I feel like, like it's it probably... Here? No, got a problem with magic in general. Illusions, portals, all that. Don't trust any of it. A bow of old-fashioned tastes, eh? I like that. Probably a, a metal song of some sort. Uh, I can imagine Geralt liking The National, though. I feel like that'd be a... Maybe because the, main, the lead singer has the same type of voice a little bit. Kind of. All right, windmill, another Wolpertinger, which is like a rabbit with horns uh, uh, and wings. Watch out. Oh, shit. It's, it's my favorite. What did we decide against pixies anyways? Uh, did we decide there was a... Yeah, so it's elemental. There it is. All right. They're a force of nature. Elemental, which is blue. Done. All right. Kill a couple of you guys. Clear this place up of pixies. Gotcha. All right. One here. Dead. And... Dead. One left. This way. Guys, renting. All right. Is there another one that I can't see? I don't see it on my mini-map. What's up, guy? Playing the flute. Where'd Tiana go? Tiana fighting one down here? Yup, there it is. Can I hang your head from my saddle? That's dark. Good luck with that. Oh, this tiny little village. Okay, we should... Uh, Repair our sword. Is otherwise gonna give us that notification the whole time. Uh, we'll do that. And hey, watch it. see what this tiny village is about. Thumbelina. Hey, watch it. You stepped on Thumbelina. Oh, that was my favorite <gasps> tale. Huh? Why is that? Because it wasn't about a princess. Tales about princesses are insufferable. Oh my god, wiping it off of his feet. I feel so bad. I did. You're right. But I thought that it I thought that I could just walk past. Oh my god, is there really a doorway in here? Can I get in? No? Thumbelina, I'm sorry. This is so cute. A little dollhouse, basically. A whole doll village. A doll town. Tower over here. Let's go to the tower. If there would be anybody magic. It would be... Oh, shit. Oh, shit. No, 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 no. No. 
Be over here, right? Oh. That looks like a like a one of those siege weapons that's a big old cross trebuchet. Hmm. It's really beautiful, but it doesn't look like I can, I can do anything here, unfortunately. Other than smash Thumbelina, which I I do. It, I feel so bad because literally they said, hey, watch it. And then I stepped on him. I'm a terrible person. All right. Got a couple more people to talk to. We're just randomly exploring the, uh, the countryside here, and I don't mind it. First off, we're definitely going to go up there. But I want to keep exploring around the edge first. Is that a goat in a dress? A goat's wearing pants. It's winter time here. Tobacco of the highest caliber. Fist tech pure as virgin tears. Hold up. This is the little flint girl. I also wonder there's a notice board here. I wonder if Longlocks is Rapunzel and is inside of that big old tower. You know? It's got like scaffolding up the top a little bit. Let's read the notice board first. See what it says. I'll take any unwanted children off your hands. Chubby ones preferred, though skinny ones won't be turned away. The witch. Fresh goods, tobacco, fist tech, and liquor from absinthe to Everclear. The customer is always right. The girl who sells it all, formerly known as the girl who sells flint. I don't know that fairy tale. But. Or what that reference is. One of my eggs hatched into something ugly. I suspect Madam Duck cheated on me with one of the six swans, though she denies everything. I'll pay good coin for evidence of her guilt. Full anonymity assured, Master Duck. Okay. Um, ugly duckling? No? Or is that just, I don't know the full story of the, uh... no, I don't know. The Joker who's always stuffing things under my mattress, I'm warning you for the last time. If I catch you, I'll have you lashed, scalded, flayed, and finally torn apart by horses. Princess Alexia. Princess Alexia. I don't know. Seeking owner of Glass Slipper, Prince Hubert Charming. At last night's ball, I danced with a lady with blue eyes and blonde hair tied up in a bun. At the stroke of midnight, she left, leaving behind a glass slipper. I shall travel the whole kingdom. Each woman in the land of a thousand fables is to appear before me to try on the slipper until I determine the lady's identity and in due course propose matrimony. Failure to appear will be punishable by flogging. Oh my god, I love this. Care for a cigarillo? <laughs> a bit of tobacco? A dab of fist tech? Uh, remind me, what tale are you from? Sold flints when I was a lass, but no one bought them, so I branched out. Now I deal in snuffs, puffs, all sorts of fun things. Where was that cat? What'll you have, sweeties? All sorts of Magic fun things. Names. Do you have any? If it's not the new name of some kicker I already have, dearies, then no. But maybe you'd like some. Hey, where'd you get that ribbon? That's mine. Is that so? Then why was it lying in the bushes? Find us keepers, sweetheart. Let's ask about the ribbon. The ribbon. Mind explaining what the fuss is about? There's not much to explain. I got it from a Torius Vigo when I was a child. It was to protect me from evil. Yeah. It clearly didn't work, given how about I ended that. up. But it means a lot to you. How should I put this? I have so few mementos from my childhood, and the ribbon reminds me of the good old days, when I was someone else. Dears. Could you continue this touching scene <laughs> elsewhere? Mm? You're scaring away my customers. Listen, can I have... Is that Puss in Boots? It's Puss in Boots. That's what I thought. Puss in Boots walks away. A cat wearing uh, a hat and boots. I want to talk to Puss in Boots. One of my favorite characters. Give Sienna the ribbon, please. Give Sienna the ribbon. Why not, huh? Sugar please? Plum. The only thing I hand out for free is a first hit. To get them to come back for a yeah, second. Yeah, to get them addicted. God damn. You've got to pay. What if I asked you nicely? Ask me nicely and I might play you for it. Hell yes. Of cards? Hell fucking yes. 
Ooh, I could pay. I could. I can't do that that one option because I don't have enough money. What have you got to sell exactly? Like I said, tobacco, fish tech, all sorts of things. Have a look. Do I have any fist tech I can sell you? That's the next question. Golden thread, gold ball, fist tech, magic dust, magic mirror, shard, mirror, mirror, bone ashes, table setting, expensive toys, different foods, gingerbread, poison apple, magic mushrooms, corks teeth and cork screws. So. I have those. Hmm. Uh, the things that I could sell you sell for so much less, though, unfortunately. Okay. I want to know what these things... Uh, <laughs> I want to know if these things... Uh, sell for any more in the outside world, or if you can sell them at all, you know? False teeth for nothing. Magic gold for something. I could at least make 500 gold here. I'm not going to uh, buy it back from... Like, I'm not going to buy her... I'm going to play her rather than buy her. Uh, her uh, ribbon. Um, but I could make a little bit of money on the way. Oh, both of those wooden stakes. I, I mean, I'll, I'll sell them. Anti-vampire garlic. I should probably keep that considering what's going on back in the... Unfortunately, I don't think it actually works. I think that's exactly what Geralt was quoted as saying, that it didn't work. Not my Reginald figurine. I won't sell that for anything. Sell the magic dust. Sell my four-leaf clovers. And I've got some money. All right, let's play some Gwent. Now I've got enough to pay to bet you for money. All right, let's play. If you lose, you give me the ribbon. Don't get your hopes up. None can best me at Gwent. Is this the final Gwent boss? How? Here's what I really admire. How in the world have they found a way to insert a game of Gwent this late into the main quest line? Because an hour ago. I was, I mean, an hour ago, I think I was probably fighting the Wicked Witch. But two hours ago, I was fighting vampires for the f for the future of Beauclair. And now I'm very happy to play this coin game. But here's the deal. I got to remember how to play. It's been forever. Uh, I've got Saris, which summons all shield maidens. My second round is what I should be focusing on. I've got this. Uh, probably going to get rid of clear weather. He's playing Scoyatel, though. I've got a decoy. So I could decoy this back. Let's get rid of clear weather. Rain. Okay. He's playing Scoyatel. Rain is Siege. Yikes. All right. Let us play Master Mirror. And figure this out from here. So Squirtle has a couple Scorches. That's a muster. God, it's just good to hear this music again. Uh, a muster with only two, and they've got eight cards left. So... Uh... What even makes sense here? A Scorch would be smart... Uh, I could Olaf the second round, but I get two cards back, so it would have to be Olaf and something else. Olaf and the Siege card? Olaf and this? Yikes, I don't know. Let's just go ahead and decoy this back to be safe. Ah, we'll keep the, we'll keep the decoy just in case we get a spy or something. God, I don't know what to play here. If I lay Scorch as range right now, we're actually sitting very pretty. Wait, it destroys itself? What is that design? That's so bad. Wait, I was like, it doesn't destroy itself, right? Fuck. <laughs> Shit. 
It'll destroy it. I thought it destroyed, then laid. But no, it lays, then destroys. God damn it. Ugh. Pass on me. That's fine. Pass on me, and then I will lay... I don't know. I'll lay this and win. Sure. And my next round will be Olaf and something. Maybe just Olaf. We'll see. All right. We can still win this. Seven cards each, and I've got the first round. I probably don't want to lay it first, though. Hmm. Let's play Triss real quick. See what they bring out. A muster in the range column. I was kind of hoping they'd lay a siege so that I could lay my, my thing. Uh, we'll lay Olaf. I should have laid it. Yeah, that's fine. Melee's fine. They lay Siri. I could Commander Horn the front row. Make them play 12 more cards to put up with me this round. Uh, I haven't done this yet, which I need to do. I forgot about that. That's what I should have done my very first my first card of this round. That's 27. What if I laid this? Do you think they would pass? They won't pass because they have to guarantee that they can win. So they won't. So instead, I will lay this here. With 12 more points. Put myself in the lead. Make him use a point. Oh, look at that art. Emil Regis Rohelic Terzif. Men, the polite ones at least, would call me a monster. A blood-drinking freak. Wow. They're up by one. Uh, and we shall pass here. And then we win the next round no matter what. Yeah. It should pass. Okay. So Olaf comes back. We have an advantage and a card advantage. We'll lay Siri first. Twenty-seven to six. Oh, it's over. I don't care how much fist tech you sell. Muster forth the shield maidens. That's 55. Commander horn. All right. Good stuff. Not too bad. 69 points. Nice. Nice. All right. Rumpel, you're good at this. Rumpel. A word to ask Giffen. Rumpel still Ribbon's skin? yours. Now skedaddle. Skedaddle. I like her accent. You're welcome, Sienna. <laughs> oh, she's in bare feet. All right. Tell me. What? What you want in return. I'm not doing this out of the kindness of your heart. I like to play Gwen. Don't want anything in return. That's it. I... Hmm. Thank you. Okay. All right. Talk to Longlocks. We still need to do that. That was beautiful, by the way. Is this goat also wearing shoes? It is. Okay, so maybe it wasn't Puss in Boots that we saw. Maybe it was just a cat. Ah, that says Puss. Puss in Boots. Hello. Hello, friend. You don't like me. Okay. That's fair. I'm going to steal your magic dust. All right. Is there anybody in this city? Nope. Where do you think Longlocks is? Let's go for it. I think we've mostly made our way around 
uh, the world here. There's a garden here. Hey, there it is. We're knocking him down. Knocking him down. I think I killed four already. Ah! Shit! All right. Do a quick little healy and fill uh uh and uh fill up my potions. All right. Done. So, I think we could probably take this uh this path that direction. Let me quickly see what's this direction. I think this is full circle. I think this is how we ran down and up here would technically be the boy who cried wolf. If we go far enough. Wolves on the prowl. There it is. All right. We've come full circle. I love it. Love a good map design. All right. Let's go towards this. Oh, this beautiful place underneath the rainbow. Long locks. Is it Rapunzel or not? We'll find out. This long locks tower. Indeed. It's even taller than I remembered. Wait. What Joss said about the third beam. Remember? In the possession of a bold farmhand somewhere deep beneath the ground. So a long-haired yes, princess. Yes, this must be it. Let's go. It always grapples high up above the ground. Past, but I don't see it anywhere. We'll find another way up. Maybe she, maybe your locks aren't so long anymore. Could pull myself up here, and I'll have to make that jump. If you say so, I shall wait down here. If it's all the same, the climbing's not my strong suit. Okay, I have to make this jump. There's also a dead body there. Oh, 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 Ger oh, Geralt. Oh my god. Maybe put the sword away first. I really thought you made it. Can I just do this? Kind of looks like I should be able to. Oh, alright. Maybe I don't understand the, the assignment here. Uh, can't be that hard, right? Oh, I'm going to fall. There it is. Okay. Nailed it. So Sienna's not going to come with us at all? Tried to free long locks, but fell and broke his neck. Am I going to pull her up on a rope later or something? All right. Oh, I didn't notice. But that is... Oh, my God. I almost walked off. That is Beauclair in the background, actually. Huh. Interesting. Not that we can actually get out of here. So I wonder why this scaffolding is here. Sienna also said it looked taller than I remembered. I wonder if it's taller. I wonder if it's been built higher. I don't know how you'd do that, but maybe. Definitely uh, falling apart a little bit here. Oh, it's parkour. It's parkour. Woo, made it. Okay. Save the game while I'm up here before I fall my death. Nope. Run up the stairs. All right. <gasps> Was that her own hair? That's what I thought. Holy shit. Oh, buddy. Oh my god, this is so dark. This is so dark. Holy shit. Wow. I... They got me good on that one. Damn. Alright, is it not? 
Locked is a wraith, right? Basically. So long looks long locks looks to me like a say that ten times fast. Long locks looks to me like a uh could be a like one of those, but I think she's more of the like night wraith kind of vibe, right? Or white lady. Factor oil and Yurden. Might be wrong about that. We're doing damage. Okay. Okay. Oh my. All right. All right. This is a. Uh... Oh my god! I can attack her body while it's hanging there. That's so dark. So dark. This is crazy. Oh my god. I need to Yurden. There it is. Ouch. Alright. Good health damage there. We're chunking her. Come here, come here, come here. Alright, there should be the enemies. Okay, avoid until we can get our Yurden stamina up. There it is. And whirl. Woo, that was a good fight. That was a very good fight. Holy shit. Hung by her own hair. That is so dark. Damn, that's good. Holy shit. Wow, and by good, I mean so fucking dark. Wow. Ooh, I hope there's a note. I want to read a note. I, that sounds so macabre, but like, uh, just because I, I trust the writers of this game so much to do an incredible version of why would Rapunzel, uh, you know, of like this magical world falling apart. Uh, leading the girl to sell fist tech and all, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And, and what would lead long locks to this, to this point? Since it seems this hair won't be pulling up any knights in shining armor, might as well put it to some use. There we are. The last words of long locks, which of course, how can we know that is the case? But those are the last words, but it's for flavor. Everyone knows love stories can have tragic endings. Few would think this also applies to princesses from fairy tales created to relive a set happy ending over and over again. Longlocks had the misfortune of becoming just such a unlikely, tragic heroine. After the Duke's daughters grew up and the land of a thousand fables went feral, Longlocks, whose prince never came and who suffered greatly from her loneliness, decided to hang herself by her own braid. After she died, her ghost stayed to haunt the castle, in which she awaited her suitor. And we made the right call about Spectre and... Wow, wow, wow. Wild. Yellow, Yellow bean. bean. There it is. Magic food that disappeared from the table. Way for nothing. And some expensive toys. Well, I can jump out of these windows, huh? Oh my god, the view. That's what we're here for. The view. I can also jump if I needed to, right? Is it water underneath me? Gotta be, right? Oh, that made my stomach turn. Oh, about vomited. So? Not good. Got the bean, but long locks. Mm. Not so long so locks sick of waiting for this for world, you know? Armor. Can you blame her? Men these days. Dandies and fops all. That why you cozied up to a vampire? Dead laugh was a tool, and only a tool. Too Tiana. bad he didn't know that. I trust no one. Learned that long ago. And you now didn't love him at all? His turn to learn that lesson. Fuck, Siana. You planned on using him from the start? From the very start, was that your plan? To use him 
Was that your plan from the start? No. At first, I was simply intrigued. Do you know the story? It was in Matina, a few years past. I'd gone there to pass some loot off to a fence I know. We were hashing out the terms when in walked Deadlock. He said he'd come to sell a silver candlestick. He gripped it through a cloth. That caught my eye. I followed him out, observed him from a distance, but he caught on quickly. Yeah, superhuman senses will do that. He turned down a blind alley. I followed. He jumped out from behind a crate, baring his teeth. I suppose he'd wanted to frighten me. Alas, he didn't in the least. After all, I'm a monster too, am I not? Okay. This is kind of romantic so far. I'll be honest with you. You're not frightened of a vampire? A higher vampire and you were unimpressed? Don't know if that's brave or just plain foolish. I've always had a way with ostensibly dangerous, quiet types. That's supposed to be about me, too? <laughs> Mother, I hate to disappoint you, Geralt, but your belly button is not the center of the known world. Though, you do remind me of him a bit. Stifling. Her voice is so quiet. Inside you, ever feigning indifference. You see, when I met Detlaf, I... Somehow, I knew. Call it... Okay, I have to, I have to draw attention to what she just said. Feigning indifference, stifling emotion. But we, if if Geralt and Detlef both do that, we do it for very different reasons. Because as we know, Detlef is very emotional. De Detlef is like wrecked with human emotion. Human emotions affect him more than they affect a normal person, let alone me. So does he really stifle it? Probably in order to get by. Hmm. Tuition. That he meant me no harm. That he was trying to frighten me off, for he too was scared. It's like a dog. Now it's like a dog do you, you see that you're just like, you're just a scared little, you're a scared puppy I inside guess. of there. A dog that's acting all tough. Interesting. Okay. Oh, hello. Roach is here. What happened then? We talked, then met up once, twice, three times. Enough that he became infatuated. He became. I truly enjoyed it at first. But only at first. He did not love like a man, but like an animal, madly, deeply, unconditionally, wildly. To return such a feeling, anyone would be hard-pressed, let alone someone as twisted as I am. So there came a day you just up and disappeared? Yes. There was no other way. Let's just be friends, or I don't deserve you. He'd never have understood that sort of thing. But then, once I decided to return, it was just an affairs, easy breakup. Remembered him and the easiest way could still be of use. Playing with fire, that definitely. And either I'll get burned or I'll burn all else down. No other options. Diana, I don't know that I love your take here. I don't know that I come out of this thinking you're better, liking you more. <laughs> It's it's the it's the story, right? Like you 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 see a person in a game like in a game like this, you see a person who has done a dastardly thing, and you think, God damn, that's terrible. But I don't know their story, and you'll get to learn their story, and then through the process of learning their perspective and their reasons and their and etc., hearing it in their words, it will become more understandable. I don't know that I feel more empathetic towards your situation right now. And what you did to Detlaf. Or who you are after all of that? What? But here's the thing. I the the major problem is here's here's the big thing. I think if I saw someone like Anna Henrietta telling me this, or we should use somebody else as an example, we should use like Regis. I would trust it all more because I believe in the reliability of Regis's own version of events. I believe that Regis believes himself and therefore, if that makes any sense. Sienna, unfortunately, because of what has been done to her and because of how she's been treated and be partially because of how she's responded to, of course, like who knows how to assign blame here. The unreliability of her narration applies to herself too. I'll either get burned or or I'll burn out. Sorry, I burped. 
Either I'll get burned or I'll burn all else down. No other options. I'm sure a part of her believes it, but does all of her believe it? And which part of her believes it? The part that got hurt and cursed and therefore treated like she was cursed or the part of her that has always maybe hoped that that wasn't the case? Got Ugh. a history with dead love now. So this meeting will be different. Not afraid. I can handle him. Mm-hmm. Sure about that? You look at him as a witcher and see a monster. I... I know what he's really like. You needn't worry. It's time to go. Just a bit more work and we'll be able to say sort off to this becking fable sphere. <laughs> All right. I mean, whatever you now say. We plant them by the You're so confident. The tower, then prepare to meet the giant. And we shall, but we shall do it in the next episode, Sienna. That's going to do it. Holy cow. The fable sphere, the th land of a thousand fables continues. Let me do a quick little uh meditate to get my my stuff back. Um Damn, I the shock of seeing Longlocks uh hanging by her own hair is up there for pure for pure surprises in any video game for me. Wow. Of course, I mean it's not a it's not a major plot twist for main characters for a video game. It's just uh that we didn't see coming. It's just a, a lovely twist all the same. Ah. Fun episode today. I hope you enjoyed it as well. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you tomorrow. Until then, if you want to like or leave a positive comment down below, Toussaint in the comments or Land of a Thousand Fables in the comments down below. I'll see you tomorrow. Until then, bye bye